a dream, an orca, and Jesus. Into the vault of eternity past, this Friday disappeared as darkness deepened. Another Sabbath day had just begun. I was quietly welcoming the Sabbath in my usual way. Vesper service ended. I prepared to nestle down to review the lesson I would study in about 12 hours. I then slipped into a quiet sleep. This night was unlike every other night of sleep. The clock said 2.10. As I awoke, no cobwebs or lingering sleep dimmed my eyes. A dream so vivid and beautiful was the reason. My body and soul were filled with joy and shalom. There, before my eyes, was a scene, serene and beautiful. The lush grass extended all the way to the sea. The sea was calm, no crashing waves. The surface was smooth and inviting. I ventured onto it boldly. There I was, walking without sinking. Suddenly an orca came up to me in a friendly way. We conversed and played together. Suddenly he playfully pulled me into his world, the water. To my surprise, it was a wonderful and pleasant experience being in his world. The bye for now was not sad, for we knew we would get together again. I had always desired to be close to orcas and horses and wolves, but a strong fear of the wilds and oceans had shackled me. These creatures of God live as families under strict rules. They still seem to adhere God's dictum, the rulership of mankind. But we subjugated, humiliated, abused, hunted, and even killed them. Still, they seldom harmed us. They were forgiving and kind. Coming towards me as I came ashore was our broadly smiling Jesus. In his gorgeous voice, he called out to me and said, you enjoyed that, didn't you? That was something you had always longed to do. These words reinforced my love and showed what an open book I am to my Lord. More of your longings and dreams will become real here. He then put his right hand on my shoulder. I felt a pain swiftly shoot through my stomach. Seeing that gentle wrist still had the nail scar that I put on it. My gaze went up and up until our eyes met. Mine were clouding up, but his was brimming with joy. Jesus crouched low and whispered in my ear, The articles you, were, you wrote were great. They encouraged some to look for me. Thank you. I could not hold back my response. But Lord, it was you who gave me those words. Jesus smiled broadly and with a twinkle winked at me. It doubled up on me that I have a gentle shepherd, a fierce savior, a just king, 
and a humble master. Sleep fled my eyes till it was well past 5.30. Was this a crazy man's empty thoughts? Or was this God's response to my longings and prayers to allow a glimpse of his fair face to me? Thank you, dear Jesus. Alleluia. Amen.